Welcome back everyone. So today's video is going to be about making a two-tiered tray. And this tray is going to match a set of four coasters that I made last night, which I absolutely love. And what I'm going to do is, it's going to be a flower technique using regular acrylic paint. And I have folk art here. So I am using vintage white. Um, this one is Color Shift, Orchid Flash. And this one's color shift and it is purple flash. A little bit of uh, white alcohol ink. Some of uh, foil, some gold foil flake and some chunky gold glitter that I have. And so I'm going to mimic what I did with, uh, with the coasters. All right, so let's get started. I already pre-mixed my resin, so I have about, I've mixed up 400 mils. Um, I think it'll be enough. You don't want to fill these molds up too much, other because then if you do, the hardware won't fit properly. And that would just suck if that happened. So let's just pop some bubbles here. My resin's actually been sitting quite some time because I've been fidgeting with um, my uh, light here. I broke it. So I'm a little bit upset about that, but uh, let's get started here. So you'll see here I haven't used much. It's about, like, I don't know, two squirts of the purple flash. Same with the, uh, the other one, whatever it's called, the orchid and the white. That may actually may be a little bit too much white. I don't know. We'll see. I think it'll be fine. All right. So first things first, we're going to lay out... We're going to pour some resin into the mold. So I'm just going to add a thin layer first. Okay. This one. Add more, but what I want to do is spread this out. Spread the first thin layer out first. Pop the bubbles and then go in with the uh, with more of the uh, clear resin. <clears throat> Sometimes if your resin is uh, too thick, the bubbles aren't able to rise to the top. And then you'll have bubbles in your resin. Oh, oh, I see something here. Got that out just in time. Okay. You can always, and then, you know, sometimes there are these like stubborn bubbles, even no matter how thin of a layer of resin you uh, pour, that it'll just, uh, I use a, a little stick and I just stir up the resin a little bit and bring the bubbles up to the surface and then pop away <laughs> with your torch or heat gun but I find that um, the heat gun doesn't really take away all the bubbles in my opinion <clears throat> okay Go. It's not too bad. I'll just give these a quick torch here. Get some of these bubbles out. I've got those stubborn ones along the uh, parameter of the, uh, the mold. I hate those. And there are 
there's a stubborn one right there. Let's move this out of the way. Come on now. Okay, now I have my little stick here. So I'm just gonna bring them up and away <laughs> from the edge of the mold. The show on the road. Oh boy. There, that bubble has now disappeared. Stubborn little fella. Okay, now we're just gonna lay another layer. It's not perfect, perfect, but it's not bad. Oh, I see one there. I want, I want to get out. Oops. Okay. There. And here. Out you go. There you go. Look at the size of that one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. It's a biggie. Okay, enough of that. One more time, Torch, and we're gonna move on to the fun part. I mean, who wants to watch a video of me popping bubbles? I wouldn't. Here, gone. Okay, so now I've got colors, so I need to mix these up quickly, actually. First off, uh, let me see, I have, I have to, I almost forgot a step because in the coasters I added just a thin, um, I added some of this, the glitter around the edge of the uh, coaster. So I'm gonna do the same here. I need a little bit runnier than that. This will end up floating anyhow. That's fine by me. Okay. Actually, let me torch this because now this is full of bubbles. Oh, we went through all that trouble putting bubbles in the mold. Let's put more bubbles. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Burned my stick. So. Place them around like that. All right. See here, I'm just loosely just laying this glitter around because I know it's not going to stay there. Okay. 
hopefully this uh, stand will match my coasters but uh, you know resin can be unpredictable but if I stick to the col same color scheme and same pattern I think I could probably get this to work okay like it oops come back all right I'm gonna give this a quick little torch again Okay, let's mix up, start mixing up the colors now. I feel like I may have a little bit too much white. Actually, no, it should be fine. Okay. White. Okay, I've filled it up a little more than halfway. gonna leave a little bit. I love uh, folk arts color shift paints. When I first started, I actually started off by rock painting, <clears throat> and um, that was fun. And I learned a lot by from Rachel's rocks. She's amazing. How pretty that is! I'm gonna add. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a lot, but that's fine. It actually works. I I actually don't. I don't really like. I um. I don't know. I try not to get blobs. Sometimes, I just it's you know, the pigment's too heavy. It'll happen. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so that one's mixed up. Now we're going to go with the, um, what is this one called again? The, uh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Orchid Flash Metallic. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Love this one. Okay, and again, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Changed the color just a little bit, lightened it up, but that's fine. Not, not by much. Anyhow, okay. And now the white. I'm starting my hit resin starting to heat up, so I need to work quickly here now.
Okay. And then we'll add this six. Thank you. I chose to go with the uh, vintage white just because I don't know I I like it. It's a cream color and it just when the, these two when the when the three colors mix together it just creates a a nice effect. Okay, guys, I'm kind of nervous. I mean, what happens if this doesn't work out? I won't have a set. Good. So we're going to put these guys over here. Actually, this one, two, right there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not using these cups. I'm actually going to use my little silicone baby cups. It's just perfect for this, uh, for this, because I'm not using the piping bag. I just want my hand to flow freely. So I'm not filling them up too much. Just a little bit. Put that there. And get that out of the way so my I have room to move. Okay. <coughs> and I'll fill them up as I go. All right. Okay. So. Oh, I almost forgot. Got to follow the plan here. Okay. Remember. Oh, oh well. It's okay. Get that in a minute. Place some of this uh, foil. Of course. Leave it to me to make a mess. It's good enough. Put that off. Put the lid back on because we don't want any more foil floating around. <laughs> I'm just going to break it up. Come on now. Wonder how my white, my uh, vintage white is doing. All right, that's good. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. So we're gonna go dark, white, light, purple, you know, that's that. That's the world. That's how I th I'm pretty sure that's how I did it the first time around. All right, so here goes. Move this stuff actually. Torch out of the way too. the white. Right. 
Oh, 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 no. It's okay. It's fine. All is good. Okay, let me fill this up again. Add a little bit more of the darker purple. More of this stuff. Okay, now we start. Oh, no, we now we do white again. See, it's starting to thicken up. So when it drops down like that, you, never, you don't want to get that initial bob uh, blob. When it drops down, just, I don't know, it's about timing. It's about letting it drop, touch, and then quickly pulling up, and then it'll thin it out. Okay, so now we go with the darker color again. that part didn't let it drop there I go this is what happens when you let your when you let it sit for too little too long All right now white again Left. Oh, too much of a blob there. Hmm. It's getting emptier. I have to refill it. We're almost done. I wish uh, I wish that didn't happen. Okay. So I just did white and it looks like the last, okay, yes, so the light pink now. Again, right, because now we're <clears throat> making larger petals. Oh, oh, geez, Louise, no. I'm just being, I'm just, uh, what, what it is, is I'm, I feel I'm rushing and I shouldn't rush. All right. I'm going to start over here, a little awkward position, position, but I didn't want any more blob action happening at my uh, starting, my typical starting point. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. I think I should... Uh, okay, so I did the light pink. I'll do a little bit more of the darker pink and then the bit, last of the white. Okay, yep, now it's getting to the point where um, it's getting difficult to freehand it like this without. You must keep going, keep going, come on, we're almost there. We're just, just down to the last drop. Oh, okay, whatever. It is what it is. I think I'm done with the pink. I'm not adding any more pink. I have just a teeny little bit left, but no, we're just gonna use the remainder of the white. I have some left over. I'll probably just make some uh, keychain out of it or something. Okay, oh yeah, oh, okay, before that, I really wanna show you these cute little heart molds that I found at. Dollarama today. I might do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you're gonna go white. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Bring it all the way out. Okay. And this one. You can make it. You can make it. It's had enough. It's like I can't do this anymore. Okay. There. Now what I want to do, or what I did with the coasters, Okay, so first I'm going to blow it out, or uh, we're going to heat it up. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is has started to feather. And hopefully it'll feather more. So we're going to do medium heat. And medium speed. And I'm just going to... Wake it up. It needs to be a little bit hotter, actually. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, good. I really hope it, this works. So now what I'm going to do, I have a little bit of clear left and I have... 
Um, I'm going to add it to the gold glitter that I had left on purpose. Put that in there. Nope, not enough. <laughs> Need more. going on. Grab my other stick and I'm going to place it just around. Okay guys, we're back. This is dried and I gotta say I am not very happy with how it turned out. I mean they all can't be wins, but I can see exactly, I know exactly why this happened. First off, you can see the ends. The flowers had started to, um, to uh, you know, form and then it, what it should have done was move towards the center and it would have just been this beautiful thing, but because my resin was uh, starting to cure, my paint was getting too heavy, um, and it just it didn't happen. Didn't turn out like the coasters did. These are the coasters. Aren't they lovely? I absolutely love these coasters. That was the top, and even the bottom is made, uh, nice too. I really like it. So I don't know. I'm on the fence. I think that I might try this again just so I can, you know, get them to look like that. Anyhow, okay, let's take these out and see what the underside looks like. I mean, this is all right. I, you know, it's just not, it's not exactly what I wanted. We got still a little bit pliable here. Because I'm impatient. All right, Got my mat. Get this down. Oh, why am I doing this? Okay, ready? Well, that's actually pretty neat. I like that part a lot. I really do like this a lot. Doesn't? Let me see. Hmm. They're just so nice. I wish the top looked like this. Well, I guess it will be, have to be the set that looks like that. Even though, and then the person, you know, I think I'm just being over dramatic. I don't know. But I really do like this a lot. Let's check out the other side. Fingerprints all over it, but that's okay. It, oops, what is that? That's weird. So here's the. I like these. On the side that I wasn't planning to be. I really do like these quite a bit. I'll bring it up close. Oh, my ring light is. Uh, I don't want to handle it too much. Okay, so 
These are great. I do like this side. I wish the top side was like this, but that didn't happen. My fault, but you know, that's resin for you. I'm going to show you just actually how unpredictable they are. I made these ones last night, purples, right? I haven't, I'm not going to demold these ones because I need to put a top coat and this is on a diamond edge coaster um, mold. But so I got this two, third one came out exactly the same way and the runt. I didn't do anything different and look how this one turned out. Seriously. What do I do with this? Oh well. Anyhow. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and until the next time, have a great day. Bye now.